Hey, what's up? Jigster here. Do you have trouble transferring math equations from ChatGPT to Microsoft Word or PowerPoint? Does the process often distort formatting or layout? In this video, I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of copying and pasting math equations from ChatGPT into your Microsoft documents to preserve their original format. Let's go! To begin, open your ChatGPT window and input a specific prompt describing the complex equation you want to solve. Of course, if you already have the equation, simply paste it into the prompt field. Next, instruct ChatGPT to provide the LaTeX version of the equation for Microsoft Word. LaTeX is a powerful typesetting system commonly used in academic fields, ensuring that your equations are formatted consistently throughout your document. Interestingly, starting with ChatGPT4, you can even upload an image of an equation and have ChatGPT automatically generate the corresponding LaTeX code. This feature is especially useful for including handwritten or scanned equations in your digital documents. Once ChatGPT provides the LaTeX code for your equation, copy and paste it into your Word document. Remember that Word initially treats LaTeX code as regular text. To convert it into a properly formatted math equation, select the entire code and press Alt and Equals simultaneously to open Word's Equation Editor. In the Equation Editor ribbon, navigate to the Conversions panel and ensure that LaTeX is selected. Then click the Convert button and choose Current Professional. You'll now see that the equation in your Word document accurately reflects the result generated by ChatGPT. On the other hand, what if you need to insert an equation from ChatGPT into a slide in your PowerPoint presentation? Unfortunately, PowerPoint doesn't directly support LaTeX syntax within its equation editor like Word does. However, you can still accomplish this by first pasting the equation into Word and following the steps outlined earlier to convert it to a mathematical equation. Once the equation is accurately rendered in Word, you can simply copy it and paste it directly into your PowerPoint slide, thus preserving its formatting and appearance. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye!